Welcome back. We're playing Amnesia. I believe this is part four. We're back in it. Last time we were attacking some water demons here. So doing a little bit of parkour, trying to figure that out. But yeah, let's get back into back to game. Am I just standing in water? Why the hell am I just standing in water? I cannot see uh, anything. All right, what am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Keep going. There must be a way out of this place. The gate is too heavy. There must be an opening mechanism. Oh yeah, okay. I think I had just died. Yep, there's the fishy. All right. Okay, so we need to jump over some of these boxes here. Oh, fishy boy. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, shoot. I don't even know if there's anything in here for us. Um. Ah, ah. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we need to parkour over to that gate, huh? Jump! Jump! Jump, you little po- Ah, I died. Alright, well, we're not starting off very strong. Okay, so we gotta pull the lever, parkour our way over to that gate. I'm guessing that's what that that's for. So we gotta do that. So let's do that. So we start off all nice and strong. I wonder if I can just sneak in here real quick before. Okay. Where's the water boy at? Oh, there we go. I hear him now. Okay. Oh my gosh, I did that like perfect. Okay. Okay, we have torso and stuff to distract him. But I kind of want to figure out what we're doing here. Okay. Oh, there's more over here. Go! Go! <laughs> this is terrifying! Jesus! It's locked with a simple lock. Hollow needle. Okay, so. Can I move this? I can. Put that over there so maybe I can jump on it. Okay, so can I pick this lock? That's what I want to know. Okay. Oh good, I don't have to like actually do it. It's not like a Skyrim thing where you have to like wiggle the thing. I'm still in water. Oh shoot. this place. Keep going, keep going. I 
I could not imagine this in real life. Oh my gosh. Go! I hope I'm doing this correctly. Ah! Ah! Go! Go! Oh! Woo! This is intense. The music is like so like... I don't know why. Okay, that was an intense way to start this part for sure. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Wind. I think it wants me to go that way. No mementos available. All right, well, I guess let's just go ahead and go into the door that mysteriously opened on its own. Ooh. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So... You have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Oh. I don't know if I trust this, but uh... I guess we've done crazier. Well, let's do it. What? Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay. Well, never mind. That's that's locked. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't know at all. I, think I hear dogs barking in the distance. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be going. Cracked window panes are held together by only a few weak wooden frames. I have an idea. You will do. Ready? Hua, hua, hua. Yeah, <laughs> there's goo outside. Elevator revision plans. I feel like that's something I should probably look at. Dot dot dot. Oh! When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even w wasted and wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you and have gained nothing in return. Ap 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 Agrippa? I trusted you. It was who I was. It was who, it was I who, it was I who, in all fairness, should have entered the gate. That was a struggle. <laughs> oh, so there's some deers here. Are those actually important, or are they just like things for me to pick up? Hi, cat. Um. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it to the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up, 8, down, 8. Make sure the flow is set accordingly to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, 4 phase ampl amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay, so that tells us how to do that. Cycle rod. Let me just make sure. Actually, let's just read our journal just to be sure what we need to do. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room and find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay, so. It doesn't actually give us more information. Whatever. We should be able to go back. Trees are falling. Back in here. We never did go this way in this room. It's just, this one's titled Animal Experiment. After a short study, it's clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear, pain, induced stress, which seem to trigger an indigenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that is a catalyst of a catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I sense it. It reeks of cosmic genius. Oh, Genesis. There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since there's a creature is bound to die from exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. 
More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only humans, human beings are able to produce the amount of necessary. Might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately arguments their experience of terror. Oh my gosh. We got two cats now. Yeah, I, we got orange over here. What are you doing, girls? Let's get resituated here. So they were doing uh, some animal experiments, some torture on humans and animals, it seems. Oh, there was a dog head I just threw. Oh. Oh no. Let's see what you have to offer. Sharpen the saw. Oh, gosh. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Damn. Oh! Who needs that many heads in a door in a cabinet? Okay, so I don't suppose there's anything else I need in here. Maybe I need to go into this other door. This one? The guest room. I don't know why there would be stuff in the guest room, but... Might as well look around, you'd say. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Oh. They stole his journal. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Hmm. <laughs> I love when you can just chuck things so far. Dang, this is a huge guest room. I mean, this is a huge place, I guess. Makes sense. Crowbar. Picked up a crowbar. There's a cat in front of me. Hey, kitty. What are you doing? Orange. 3rd of July, 1839. Today, I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. Hmm. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? A second orb! Let's go into this other area. My guess is I could use... I gotta actually do it. Ooh. The key. Please let it be here. Yeah. 
move in tents really quickly. Oh my gosh! Is it gonna find me? Um... We okay? Holy cheez it's okay. Okay. Uh fourth of July, eighteen thirty nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces mm. as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay. Magical orb that put itself back together. Interesting. Oh, thank God. There it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. What is this? Oh, there we go. Machine room key. Yay! Okay, so now we can probably go back to the machine room. Okay, I'm kind of nervous because that dude came in here. Okay. Okay, here's... The pressure. They'll go back and probably read that note it said. July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucita, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, all I have to say about most of these notes is just like interesting. I feel like all this information is just like circling around and I'm like trying to I really like I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. I don't know. Not always the best at figuring out the actual like story behind things sometimes in games. Let's go look at the other rooms now. Oh, there's a downstairs area. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful. 
with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh, here's another note. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study room in case all three would crack again. Okay, so we're looking for the inner study rooms. Is there more? There's another down. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Oh, here's a lever. There's nothing in the burner to ignite it. So this looks like kind of the next step down here. Okay, I got you. Or like the final step type deal. So we actually like to turn it on. Okay, but we have to do the other parts first in order to actually get it running. It's supposed to be eight up and eight down. But I don't really know how to actually do that, so we'll wait till we find the other parts anyways. Let's go back. Let's see if we can find those study rooms. What's over here? Study rooms? That's... Let's go. Was storage one of the rooms I needed to go to? I don't remember. The darkness in the storage room feels strange and unnatural. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Alexander! I've prepared the explosives you need for cleaning the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure it's handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosives, and they should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large bats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Okay, so we should have an explosive, potentially. I don't like how many tinder boxes it's giving me. I mean, I guess it is super dark. I don't like this. Ah! Ah! Like, I feel like we haven't experienced anything truly terrifying yet. Like, nothing, like, super scary. And I know this game is kind of known to be actually scary, so, uh... <laughs> oh, here's a crank. Or a drill... a drill fart. I'm lost! It's too dark! I need to find all the parts first. Okay, so, we're getting some parts to the drill. For... I don't even know for what probably for those two things. So these must be the- okay, so this must be the next room. These must be the two- two chemicals. Stored away from each other. Let's go back up here. Let's see if we can get a little bit further for this. I'm gonna like actually get both of these. I have 37 more things. I feel like potentially can be all right here. There's so many tinder boxes! Oh, here's more to the- to the drill. I think I'm gonna die. Oh my god! He turned around! Ah! Okay. Okay. I. Sorry for that cat interruption. Help take away some of the spookiness though. Oh wait, can I assemble. Can I assemble this yet? Yes, I did. Can't. Let's go back in here. Let's go back in this equipment room here. Hopefully he's not down here. Am I doing on fuel? We're doing pretty good. I still have also eight canisters. 
soon. So I think... Here, and then we can use this drill again, it seems. There we go. Get this build up. So now we're gonna have an explosive material. I don't even know for what. But I guess just so we can have it, maybe it'll explain. What was that for? Why'd it go red? What was that? Okay, should we done down here now? I go stand by one of these torches for a second here. Get some in this lit room, because this room's pretty lit, uh, which is nice. <laughs> so yeah, now we just need to go down these down this part, I believe. Which actually, I think we'll go ahead and save that for the next part here. We've gone quite a bit today. Um, we're making progress towards getting that elevator fixed up here and uh, uh, whatnot. So um, we got the explosive liquid now. We're looking for all the parts for the machinery, so. Um, yeah, this game is super interesting how you go for, like, one big puzzle, but there's, like, a bunch of little puzzles. So it feels like, I'm like, oh, I haven't finished that yet, but it's like, well, but I've done all these other puzzles. So it's, like, it's very interesting. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, remember to stick around for the next part coming soon. So, yeah, see ya. Thank you.